Now on step two, we want to weave from front to back. Now what we're going to do in this step, uh, find your center marks, and we want our front to back strips to be underneath the side to side weaves. In this case, I've got a bad spot in my piece of cane, so I'm just going to snip that off. It also was cracked down the middle, so I'm going to discard that. I do not want to pull this cane so tight that it lifts these up because uh, then that would kind of be pointless as to defining the shape of my, my rails. So I'm just going to pull this tight enough so it just rests on the underneath of these previous cane pieces. And from there, I'm just going to work my way back on one side, and then I'll go back over and I'll do the other side. Okay, at this point, I have filled in to the other side of the chair. And I'll try to get a close up here for you. If you can see, uh, this brings us back to if those of you that are following along at home and wanted to do the front to back procedure instead of the side to side, uh, the only difference would have been you would have gone, once you get the front to back filled in, you would have then woven side to side and the side to side weaves would have been on top of your front to back weaves. For step three, we want to go back to weaving side to side. But at this point, we have side to side weaves that go over the top of the front to back weaves. So now we are going to do side to side that will go underneath the front to back weaves. We don't need to find the center of the chair because uh, finding the center has defined where we ended. So we can just start at the back or you can start at the front, uh, whichever you feel more comfortable with. In my case, I prefer to start the back and work towards the front. And while you're doing this, I'm going to bring my side to side underneath to the front of the one that I'm going over the top of. Or I mean, yeah. I'll get a close up of this procedure so it'll be, it'll be a little easier to understand. This is the strand, this is the strand right here that is going to go side to side underneath. 
This is, from my perspective, the rear right hand corner of the chair. I'm going underneath and you can see here that is towards the front of the chair. I'm going to want to continue that all the way to the front. Okay, just to do a little bit of review. Our first step was side to side, which is this string. Went side from one side of the chair to the other side of the chair. The second step was this strand, which went from the front to the back. The third step is this strand right here, which went back to side to side, but underneath the front to the back strands. As you can see here, this goes towards the front of the chair. Step four. On step four, we are going to go back to weaving front to back. Um, our weave is getting a little tighter now. Now we definitely want to watch these little nubs or these little knots on the cane. I'll try to get a close-up on this for you. My button works here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Uh, as these little nubs, one way is smooth and the other way is uh, like against the grain. You can actually feel it. We want to orientate this so that as we pull it through the chair, we pull that down smooth. If we were to go the opposite way and catch it, uh, it's going to crack or it's going to break our cane. So when you're weaving, you want to pull this through the cane. It's kind of like petting a cat or a dog. You know, you want, you want it to go the way the animal's fur would. It's the same here. You want to pull that through. Uh, if you go the opposite way, it's going to catch it and it's going to break. So on step four, we're going to go front to back. And you can uh, go through and kind of straighten these out if they got a little crooked on you during your weaving on the previous steps. They tend to get kind of crowded and they might want to scoot over a little. Uh, we want this cane to go to the right of the previous weavings that we have done or to the right of the other strands that go from front to back. And we're kind of going to do a, a basket weave on where all of these come together. So, where the strand you're following goes on top of a side to side, we're going to want to go under that one. And we're going to come up and go over the next one. And I'll zoom in on this for you. As you can see here, this is the step four strand, the one we are weaving at the moment. We're going to the right of uh, the other one that went front to back. It goes underneath, side to side, and then over a side to side. And we're gonna keep these four squares all together and then we will go 
to the next, to the next one, to the next, and to the next, all the way to the back of the chair, following this pattern. Once you've woven from the front all the way to the back on this first strand, you go down through the last hole and you can come up through the one next to it and start weaving from the back to the front using the same basket weave pattern you used previously. I'll do a couple here for you. You can do one at a time or you can do several at a time. Um, right now I'm doing one at a time. Next I'll do several at a time here. It's a little faster, you can do several at a time. I like to try to keep these strands uh, as straight and together as I can. They always want to try and pull apart. So we're going to continue this process. Uh, I'll go up to the front, to the back, and I'll just keep going like that until I get to the opposite side of the chair.